we were in Russia playing Moscow, and this was 1993. I was doing the music for Sonic the Hedgehog. He called me 10:30 in the morning and wanted to hear, uh, wanted to see me. So I thought it was to hear the Sega keys. And so I have the cassette underneath my arm, the cassette player, and I walk in and he says, "No, I don't want to hear the Sega stuff." He goes, "Just start playing." And there was this room with this upright piano, and I just started playing and. Um, and this is exactly how Stranger in Moscow was done. It was done in an hour and a half. So, this is what I played. So when I played that, he loved it. You know, he says, that's great. That was a cue that I already put into Sonic. It's on the ending credits of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And it's in the same key and it has the same chords. And it's, you know, I'm playing it like you would in a video game. So it sounded like this. Now listen, Stranger. It's identical. Key, everything. So I played that for him and he loved it. And then he said, play something else. did was just do a, a 5-1 resolution, so it's, it's of the most thing <laughs> And that's the exact, that's the exact right point. So, the melody that he's singing is the top notes of the chorus. So this is the one song that he didn't do. It's the one song that um, I was stupid enough not to, when I was standing at the doorway an hour and a half later, it's so obvious we just wrote a song together, and I was new. It was 1993, so I'd been his musical director for one year, and I'd only known him for four, since 89. And I didn't say anything, I, and I was thinking, we should do this, you know. Did we just write a song together? I didn't do it. Well, next day, Karen Faye said, Michael tells me you guys wrote a beautiful song together. And so, okay, good. So, yeah, of course we did. And then what happened is Michael's a shrewd businessman, and since I wasn't savvy enough to seize the opportunity and claim the territory, the question never got resolved. And then all of a sudden, as the song became more and more important, he decided to keep the credit, right? And that's how life works sometimes, and you can't, you know, he, I've had so many, life's full of injustices, first of all, and second of all, there's been so many great things with him that it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? But this song, I didn't get any credit on. In fact, he stripped all the credits from me if you looked at the ultimate collection, I'm not even on the song. Wow. And that's heartbreaking. Yeah. You don't know how that feels. And you know, Matt Fortune and these guys were there, so they know it was Brad's baby, right? But he's the closest friend I've ever had in my life, and I've had more amazing experiences with him than anyone I've ever known. So at the end of the day, what do you have? You have an incredible love for this man. He's been wonderful to me.